the pasta quake activity helps students to visualize the comparisons in the amount of energy which is released by different magnitude earthquakes. We know that the amount of energy released in earthquakes increases by a factor of 30 as we increase by one unit in magnitude. So if we use one strand of spaghetti, bend it and break it to represent the amount of energy released in a magnitude 5 earthquake, then to represent a magnitude 6 earthquake, we'd have to go to a bundle of 30 strands. So if I bend the single strand, it's pretty easy to fracture it. You can actually feel a little vibration in the strand of spaghetti as the energy gets released. Here's a bundle that has 30 strands representing a magnitude 6 earthquake. I could, if I bend this not, with not too much force, I could break through simultaneously these 30 strands of spaghetti and that would represent the amount of energy released by a magnitude 6 earthquake. To go then to a magnitude 7 earthquake, such as the Haiti earthquake of January 2010, I'd have to take the 30 and multiply by another 30, so get a bundle of 900 strands of spaghetti. Now when I get to a bundle of 900 strands, I really have to bend it fairly hard. I have to put quite a bit of force on it. I could do it. I could bend it really hard and simultaneously break through this 900 strands of spaghetti. But it gives us a good sort of physical feeling for the comparison of the amount of energy released in a magnitude 7 earthquake compared to the single strand, which is a magnitude 5 earthquake. If I want to go to the next step to a magnitude 8 earthquake, I'll have to take this bundle of 900, multiply by another 30 to get a bundle of 27,000 strands of spaghetti to represent a magnitude 8 earthquake. And here we have it, a bundle of 27,000 strands of spaghetti. I can barely lift it, let alone imagining maneuvering it in my hands and trying to bend it to break through that bundle of 27,000 strands of spaghetti. If you want to go to a magnitude 9 earthquake, for example, the Japan 2011 earthquake, we'd have to take this bundle of 27,000 strands of spaghetti, multiply by another factor of 30, and that bundle of spaghetti would go from floor to ceiling about the width of a door frame. 